Welcome, everyone, to the Everything Show, episode 692. I am your host, Matrix Lord 212. I'm with Scott. What's up, Scott? Hello and greetings. What's up, Chris? Chris, you there? Uh, all right. So, X Men Apocalypse is out. We saw it all. Yeah, what's up? Yeah, we saw X Men Apocalypse. Uh, Chris, now you, what did you think of X Men Apocalypse? I remember you said something about it. I liked it. I thought it was pretty good. Scott, same here. I same freaking here. loved it. My God, I loved it. I actually loved it better than Days of Future Past, which yeah, I maybe it's because I'm a huge Apocalypse fan. I don't know, but I love the Jean Grey, Scott Summers. They just starting out. This movie, they never even once called him Apocalypse, mind you. No, no, the whole movie. I got to say, I, I absolutely thought this. I don't know what the critics are talking about. I was, this movie was awesome. It's going to do great in the box office. It's a success already. In like It already made back its budget, which is crazy. But um, let me just give you some numbers quick. Uh, let's see. Apocalypse had a budget of $178 million. It's already at $265,831,017 worldwide, $80 million here in the States. Um, so it's this is only the first week. It's going to do phenomenal. Um, it's definitely going to do another probably $100 million here or so or more. Um, overseas, too, I bet it's going to do more. So I'm very happy with the results. Uh, and Civil War also had some surprises. Uh, one billion, one hundred and seven million, eight hundred ninety-three thousand nine hundred forty-eight. Still doing well, okay. Uh, as of the weekend, Friday it did four million. Saturday it did almost six million. Sunday it did five million five hundred eighty-one thousand. Today it did four million three hundred and thirty-eight. Up from the previous Monday, so, so yeah, Civil War actually is getting higher than previous weeks. So and it's, it was a good movie. It was a decent movie, and they didn't go so far fetched like maybe yes. Yeah, I, I'm I'm actually grateful, and also too, 377 million domestically. Um, I'm I'm actually grateful that uh, the that Captain America stupid storyline didn't affect it yeah. at all, which thank God, because I was really worried about that. So looking forward to the next X-Men movie. Now, for those of you that didn't see the movie, I'm about to spoil some things. Okay. I love the little end. I love the little, uh, spoilers. Here we go. Yeah. Okay. Here's the spoilers. I love the little ribbing uh, they did when coming out of the movie, but how the third is always not as good as, the yeah. others. That's what I. Oh, that was. It's sort of like they were, somebody was talking about. That's sort of like him poking a knob against himself as well. Right. So now the Essex Corporation. That's Mister Sinister's mm -hmm. company. In case you didn't know, he is the clone master. There, he makes clones of people. They're saying that this could lead into clone being uh, Wolverine being cloned for X twenty three. Gene Gray being cloned to yeah, become Ryder Fire. They could do the Mutant Massacre storyline with Caliban, with Storm, with the Morlocks. They could do the Inferno storyline for the mm -hmm. next two. So they could probably do Mutant Massacre next. They could probably then do Inferno or something. They can wait for maybe, let's see. With the Phoenix thing, they don't have to do it the next movie. I don't think they're No, no, I'm just, yeah, I'm just trying to judge which. They should wait until at least the third or fourth movie if they if they go that far. Well, now we're at three. So four would be probably something else. Five would be – and here's the thing. The the Dark Phoenix saga doesn't have to be the way the comic yeah. is. She doesn't have to yeah. die. So as we've seen in the future with you know, Wolverine, he's in the further future, I guess 2020 or mm -hmm. something. They're all alive. They could go that far where I, – I heard that uh, – Chris, did you hear that he wants to incorporate the original cast too? He said he he wants to do a movie just with the original cast. Oh, and not with first class. Which um yeah. interesting. And you know, we, we there was also some news too 
Um, we're not going to be getting the the next X Men movie for a little while. Why is um, that? Because of that Brian Singer is doing something in between this and the next X Men movie. Okay. And yes, I guess the next X Men movie is going to be a couple years. That's good. Um, I mean, that's today, fine. fine. At least he's doing something this way. This that's movie. That's fine. We got Deadpool. We got New Mutants. We got. You know, I guess New Mutants would be next. Next Force, right? Supposedly. Uh, Here's the problem. Yeah. Here's the problem. While this movie is doing well financially, it's not doing well critically. Well, so they are going to need to turn this around in the next movie or else they're looking at a major problem. Well, see, I don't see, see I don't really see there being a problem because with with the exception of Batman vs Superman, Batman vs Superman was hated by critics and fans. Right. Okay, that's not the case with this. I mean, yeah, no, but but trust me, if if a movie does not do well critically, it, 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 so you really think that that will be a factor? Oh, no, there's going to be a problem. Yes, I've seen it happen before with movies where crit, where the, like it does well financially, but critically it doesn't do well, and they start going, oh, oh, we're in trouble, and they start messing things around. Uh, so they've got to turn it around with the next one because I'm seeing a thing that they hate this worse than Batman versus Superman. No, this. Yes, yes. Who said that? Yes. Angry Joe hated this worse than Batman versus what? Superman. What? I like this more than Batman versus Superman. He came out today. Now I'm not saying just, but, but I am seeing a very negative reaction from people about, against this movie. Very, very really? negative reaction. Am yes. I, have I been in an alternate reality? Because I haven't noticed that. Wow. I don't really understand it. I like it. I have problems with it, but I don't think they're too crazy. But I, I'm telling you, I've been seeing things that have made my jaw drop. Like, wow. Oh, I'm not talking yeah. about these are DC fanboys saying this or anything. These are people that are Marvel fans that are like, this movie was bad. It was just <gasps> so, wow. so they better turn it around with the next movie or else we could be seeing – a similar shift in production that we're seeing with DC right now. What the? I'm telling you right now, because I'm normally I would keep my mouth shut if it had just like a couple of negative reviews. Like yeah, every movie gets negative. Yeah, it's understandable. The amount of hatred that I'm seeing for this movie is actually kind of shocking to me. Um, and that's funny because I looked around, I haven't seen that much negativity about it. So maybe I'm not looking in the right place. Keep looking. All right. You'll see what I'm All right. Wow. That's, so it uh, doesn't change my opinion. I thought I thought it was a good movie. Right. Uh, but I, I will agree with one thing. Um, I didn't think this was better than Days of Future Past. I thought they, I think they, to me, they, Days of Future Past is the best X Men movie we've gotten mm. thus far. With this as a close second for me. Um, right. But actually, no. You know what? To tell you the truth, I think I I, I actually think First Class was better than Apocalypse as well. Mm. But I'm not saying Apocalypse was bad. It's like. Right. All three been so you got days, then Day, you got first class, and then apocalypse. Right. Well, I mean, I honestly, you know, it kind of struck me today when I was reading it. I was like, this sounds very, very similar to what I remember reading from when Last Stand came out. Hmm. Really? Yeah. Very, See, very I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I I'm I'm usually good looking around, and I really haven't. I gotta research even more. I don't really yeah. see it. The one that struck me the most was when I saw I I was on Facebook, and I you know I saw Angry Joe's post, and he he was just like he he wasn't holding back. He was like, guys. This was the worst movie I've seen this year. Was oh, worse for than Christ's movie. sake. I got to see this. What, do you point out, what was one of his points that he hated? He didn't do a review yet. He's going to, though. And everybody's here why he hates it so much, which is one of the reasons why I'm, I'm shocked. Cause I, mean, I didn't know if he was going to definitely like it as much as, as I was hoping, but he was like, he really really hated it like a mm. lot. and i've seen a lot of a lot of people like i saw one review um that gave it a zero out of ten what and i was like hold on out of their fucking minds like i don't know if they Get were joking here. or not but it, i was like jeez no way like, man this one's going great grand there are some problems yeah but i at least give it a seven yeah uh, one of the problems is that in Days of Future Past, we've seen Mystique 
looked like Stryker, and then he had Wolverine. So you're like, all right, maybe Wolverine's going to be okay. But no, I guess he gets become Weapon X anyway because the real Striker gets him. So I thought Mystique had protected him. I guess not. Yeah, that um, was a. Pl- I think that was a plot hole. Yeah. Yeah. So that, I that's, really think they forgot that's what they did in the last movie. Yeah, I, mean, I, I would have done something different with the helmet. I would have had the helmet covering Jacqueline's face all the way, and then when she, then when Jean took it off. I mean, of course we knew it was going to be Hugh. That I mean, that was no brainer. But to me, I just think that helmet should have been covering his face, and you wouldn't you didn't see the whole face until after she moved. The out. other plot hole is that they were in the same compartment as the other X Men. Yeah. When they had the power dampeners. Yeah. So when they took them out, weren't weren't they in the cage too? Yeah, yeah that's what I couldn't understand. Like where the hell they go? Like did they open up the van, take the thing down, and then they teleport it out? Because I'm like, how did the hell did they get free? Well, honestly, the, I mean, when you really think about it, though, those are two really easy plot holes to explain away. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. for, Wolverine, for Wolverine, you could say, okay, he was caught at a later date. They caught him right, at a later date. Right, that's what I felt, right. Whatever. But the, the other one, you could say, okay, maybe they shut that down before they landed, and that's how they were. Right. Able to get out. I don't know. It, I agree with what you're saying, though. Things like that need to be explained. Yeah. Because people who can these things are kind of left like, wait, wait, how did this happen? Yeah. You know? And I think, I think that's part of the reason why people don't like this movie as much. The one thing I didn't like was the fact that they rebuilt the mansion so easy. Yeah. And I'm like, well, what are you talking about? So you mean to tell me that Magneto and Gene Gray are going to rebuild all the bridges in two seconds? Because I'm like, have, I, I, just because you have powers doesn't mean you're an architect or, or you know how to like, right. You know what I'm saying? That's like genie in a lamp type of thing. So that was like, I'm like, oh, that's the only thing in the movie. I'm like, oh, come on. <laughs> I, 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 think, I think it would have been, I, I think they could have, again, they could have solved that in two ways. Either A, not have the whole mansion get destroyed, or B, show all of the students helping to rebuild it. So it's that, kind of yeah, like, that that's, right there. See, that's common it. sense. Um, so B, it just felt like, Oh, we blew up the mansion. How are we going to resolve this quick? Have Magneto and, and Gene mm-hmm. fix it. Okay. Yeah, that's, you know, that wasn't believable. We're going to the Phoenix. Yeah. Um, I just, here's the thing. No more blowing up the mansion, okay? We're done with that, I think. Yeah, that's it. Um, and let's do the, let's do the other mutant storylines without doing the Dark Phoenix right away. Because yeah, I have, let that one be the third one down the line or fourth one down the line. Right. Okay. And that's it. So, um, what else do we have? Really... The next one might be a one in space. So, right. Do we got any uh, news, uh, Chris? Or um, I could see. Let me see. Um, did you guys see the? Uh... Think of anything that came no. Out. Did you I guys don't see? Think so. No. Okay. I heard um, they're remaking uh, Hitchhiker's Guide. I mean, they're making a sequel to Kong Fury. You guys, remember that? Mm-hmm. Oh. Kong Fury. Sorry, man, that's a little jumpy here. Uh, yeah. All right, I'm going to do the box office for Alice Through the Looking Glass. About $100 million. Still didn't make back its budget, though. We got a little time, I guess. Oh, okay. I was thinking Alice Through the Looking Glass had another week before it came out. I mean, it's, it's out. Um, it's not doing that great. Uh, what else came out? Oh, well, Angry Birds, the second week, I guess. Angry Birds is... Uh, so far, two hundred twenty-nine million worldwide, which is better than its seventy-three million dollar budget. So it's doing okay. Um, what else do we have here? Box office wise, what was there? Wasn't there something else? Oh, uh, Warcraft. Oh, Woo. well, overseas, thirty-one million. But that budget, I heard, is tremendous. 
So I wonder what, the, what it's going to do. You know? Uh, what was the other movie? Nice Guys? Yeah. Let me see what the other one. Okay, The Nice Guys. Uh, budget's not available, but it's at $23 million. So that's okay, I guess. What else do we have here? Um, you guys see... Um, Everybody see Fear the Walking Dead now or no? Finale? I'm going to do that. In fact, I'm going to do that tonight after I get okay. back. That's, that's what my, uh, that's why I was going to go up to QT and grab my snacks because I was going to go up and, you know, yeah, I'm going to watch the feed when I get home. Yeah. All right. So, and you got Raw tonight, right, Chris? Okay. Okay. <laughs> I guess we... We're on that. All okay. right, guys. Take care <laughs> for now. <laughs>